lives at the side of the road. They look like anyone else from anywhere else. The former workers of East Delhi Farm were a small number. The country had become a nation of informal traders. They were blessed to have four countries bordering them. To the north, Zambia. Formerly, one Zambia, one nation, one robot, one petrol station. <laughs> Zambia of the joke currency had become the stop of choice for scarce commodities. To the east, Mozambique, once upon an almost colony. Reliant on their solidarity pacts and friendship treaties, on the soldiers guarding the Bayer Corridor. This Mozambique was now the place to withdraw the foreign currency not available in their own banks. To the west, Botswana. <laughs> How they had laughed at Botswana, with no building taller than 13 stories. The same Botswana that now said it was so full of them that it was erecting a fence along the border to electrify their dreams of three meals a day. And to the south, cutting Africa in the hands of plenty, Ndazo, Kusau, Joni, Jubek, Wenera, South Africa. They had become a nation of traders. So it was that in the mornings, the women of the markets rose early and caught the mouth of the rooster. In Baramsika, they loaded boxes of leaf vegetables, tomatoes and onions, sacks of potatoes, yellow bursts of spotted bananas. They took omnibuses to Mfakose, to Kwazana and Lenora to stand in stores and coax customers. One billion for two, five billion for six, only half a billion. <laughs> nice bananas, nice tomatoes, buy some nice bananas. They sang out their words as they walked the streets. Bambaira murio, ma tomat, onion, ma banana, ma orange. The men and boys went to Siaso, the small place second hand market, where the expectation of profit defied the experience of breaking even. In this section, hubcaps, bolts, nuts, adapters, spanners. Over there, an entire floor given over to the mysterious bits, spiked and heavy rusted and box-shaped that give life to appliances. In the next, sink separators, plugs, cell phone chargers. Under the bridge, cobblers making maniatera sandals out of disused tires. The shoes were made to measure. Just put your foot there, Blas. The sole of the shoes sketched out and cut out around the foot, a hammering of strips of old tire onto the sole, and lo, 15-minute footwear. In CSO, it was not unknown for a man whose car had been relieved of his radio or hubcaps to buy them back from the man into whose hands they had fallen at a discount. On the other side of Mbare, among the Xinjiang products from China, the shiny clothes spelling out cheerful poverty, the glittery tank tops and body tops imported in striped carrier bags from Dubai, among the Gucci with two I's and the Prada with two D shoes, among the Louise Vuitton bags, the boys of Mpeza Namo competed to get the best customers. Ah, sister, you look so smart, huh? With this on, you will be smarter still. I'll leave my sister be. She was looking this way. This way, sister. Sister, sister, this way. This way, sister. Sister, sister, my sea. They spent the day away from Easterly Farm, in the city, in the markets, in Siaso. They stood at street corners selling bells and street buckles. Brightly colored Afro combs studded with mirrors. Individual cigarettes smoked over a newspaper read at a street corner. Boiled eggs with pinches of salt in brown paper. They passed on whispered rumors of the president's health. They say he tumbled off the stairs of a plane in Malaysia. Yeah, that is what happens to people who suffer from foot and mouth. People who talk too much and travel too much. At the end of the day, smelling of yeast and dust, they packed up their ways, they returned to Easterly Farm to be greeted again by Martha Mpengo. <laughs>